I think we are live here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. In this video, I'm going to compare two water recipes. One with third wave water. Uh, so this is the easy option. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. Uh, comes with a 12 pack. We just add it into one gallon jug of distilled water. In this case, I'm making the water with uh, zero water. Okay, zero water is the, the filter uh, water filtering system from zero water. Uh, I use it just the tap water go through it, and the tap water become as zero TDS. Is that same as distilled water? Most likely not, but I should be close enough. So again, the zero water is same as zero TDS. Uh, supposedly filter out all the uh, mineral inside the water. Okay. Uh, so the other water is obviously my homemade water. Okay, so I made a concentration uh, for calcium, uh, let's see here, uh, magnesium, same as Epsom salt anyway, and then also bicarbonate, that's uh, baking soda. So I made a concentrate and I just make my own water. So let's compare all that. I'm very curious about, uh, especially this water recipe here. So this is a third wave of water from Mr. Classic Profile. So this one is, uh, they develop just for the uh, tea or uh, filter coffee. That's it. You do not put this one on your coffee machine, okay? I believe this one has calcium in it. Uh, if you want to put uh, third wave water on, uh, water on your coffee machine, you have to use a different blend. It's called Espresso Profile. So this one does not have calcium because calcium, uh, in a kind of like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the calcium deposit, the hard water deposit there, so the build up hot water. So you do not put your classic profile on your espresso machine. Okay, so that's the reason why they have two different color. So I'm not gonna using this one. So this is the, again, classic profile made for your filter coffee. So let's see here, guys. Uh, by the way, if you're just joining us, for the first time, welcome to the live streaming. So that's what we do, you know, uh, pretty much most days, trying to come up with a better way to make coffee at home, okay? Again, the better way. There's no wrong way to make coffee. It's all, you know, it's all different, all right? All different there. So this morning's coffee, I'm gonna be using my coffee from uh, Metric, Ethiopia, Honeycrisp, Grapefruit, and sugar cane i really enjoyed it last week so i'm gonna be using 16 gram 16 gram dose uh let's use the origami uh comes to grinder i'm gonna be using my ek 43. i think we got everything covered guys uh, let's let's brew some coffee all right here we go let's flip the camera Again, we are using the two origami setup here. So this water here, uh, my Brewsta kettle, I have the third wave of water, okay? Uh, with my fellow kettle to the right. So this is my homemade water. You know, I usually measure out my concentrate. I I'm just gonna, I I'm just gonna wing it, okay? I'm just gonna add some uh, salt. Uh, this is Epsom salt also known as magnesium. Just gonna add a little bit on the top there. And I'm gonna add some little bit of calcium as well. So calcium, I feel like bring out the sweetness, okay. The buffer is kind of like uh, baking soda. Uh, can, uh, this one give you that really mellow, okay. Just gonna a little bit. I'm just gonna stir it. All right. At this point, I think we got everything nicely mixed up. Okay, at this point, uh, here's what we're going to do, guys. Because I know I am curious about myself as well. I'm just going to just gonna take some little bit of water out. Both waters here. I 
I like to measure TDS, okay? TDS uh, usually measured by ppm. Okay, so this is the water from third wave water. Actually, the water temperature impact the TDS for sure, goodness. I think this is not a good idea. Hold on. This is about 180s. It's about 174 for the, uh, let's see here, homemade water there. This one is So this is uh, again third wave water. 174. Okay. So this is the third wave water. One, 141. So 141 for the third wave water and the 170 for the my homemade water. So uh, somewhat close enough. Okay. Again, this is not exact science, but should be closing up there. I'm just gonna add some more third wave water. Uh, we, let's see, uh, if someone asks me about that, I'm winging it, I, again, this is pretty much good as you get com comes to comparison wise. Again, this is a homemade water, okay? Because you're not gonna get an exact TDS every single time. So this is the homemade water versus third wave water. I'm looking for uh, how different, all right? I mean, if they're identical, I mean, I, for the price wise, I go with homemade water every day. But getting that exact PPM every single time is, is extremely difficult, guys. Okay, very, very difficult. That's the reason why, if you are looking for consistency, obviously the third way water package is way to go. Okay. But if you want the uh, close enough okay i mean that's different story folks homemade water is a lot cheaper to produce okay for the long run it's not a convenient okay you have to uh, you have to do a little bit of research and you gotta play with a little bit okay uh, look like elaine asked me is that very big difference in ppm no not at all okay I mean, yeah, that's, that's not a big difference in PPM there. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's grind some coffee beans. Let's move on to second one here. Good. We got 16 gram going in and 16 gram going out. Okay. And then we're gonna go with the number two. Uh, comes to recipe 16 in I'm gonna go up to 240 grams of water. I'm gonna add it Yeah I got 16 15.8 uh, close enough there Here we go All right, I'm just gonna, in the beginning, I'm just gonna 
declump both coffees here just declump it don't be afraid to declump that guys okay don't be afraid of it just stir it so we don't have any kind of pocket there so let's start with the homemade water I'm gonna start with 32 grams of blooming Uh, ended up being 45. I'm just gonna stir it well. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds. Okay, about 35 seconds. And then I'm gonna introduce 120 grams of water. Okay. Comes the pour technique, you know, it just goes side to side. Doesn't really matter here. Once you hit 120, and you are going to match the, the output of the water, okay? Just see. So uh, we're trying to maintain the same level right now. All the way up to 240. All the way to 240 there. It sh uh, should take about a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Again, we are main maintaining the water level, 240, there we go. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, that's it. All right. So that's, that is my homemade water. So let's work on third wave water, folks. Okay, I'm just gonna bring out the temperature there. Uh, I'm using 94 Celsius right now. Let's bring it up to temperature. I know some people are using like half package of third wave water. So which means you are going to bring down some TDS. Bring down to around like 70. There you go. I'm gonna go the same thing as 45. Okay, just like the other one. I'm just gonna match with the coffee. I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds. Uh, meantime, let's check out the my homemade water getting very close there I'm trying to shoot for uh, just over three minutes okay just over three minutes there we go uh, that's pretty good time there go up to 120 okay how about three minutes Okay, I'm just gonna match it. Match my output to my input. Go up to It take about a minute and 30 seconds. There we go. And after that, I like to give it a quick stir. That's it. Done. So this one is my homemade water. And then we are working on the third wave water at the same time there.
it's about two minutes and about 30 seconds so I feel like my homemade water takes a little longer it'd be interesting it comes to flavor wise it's about it's about 25 to 30 second difference in extraction time let's find out comes to color wise looks about the same okay how about taste how about taste I mean this again so this is a why it's hard to make kind of like a one-to-one -one comparison you know as you saw I trying to do the exact same technique as possible guess what okay we're human all right so it's really really hard to make the exact same coffee unless you are doing the cupping okay uh, unless if you are doing the cupping yes I think you can get the uh, pretty good comparison okay side by side coughing but again i mean how many how many of us we you know do coughing at home so it's not that i don't know i mean i want to i want to do the brewing method that you know you guys can all enjoy okay all relate to uh, uh elaine asked me blind taste you know what I'm, I'm asking a lot of people in tucson some reason they don't want to come so you know you have to take my word for it uh, Elaine say, I would not know the difference there. So this is my homemade water. Okay, I mean very fruity smell. All right, bright, sweet, very nice. Okay, very tasty. So third wave water. So this is what we are looking for right here. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm hoping something different. I don't want to say better, but I want, I'm hoping for something different. Here we go. Cheers. Okay, more smooth. And more balanced. Sweeter. Uh, my homemade water, obviously, uh, unless if you're using the exact same recipe every single time. But once your concentration is run out, you have to make new concentration. Okay and then again so you got a very methodical about how to make that coffee uh, how, how to make that coffee water so here's the thing about that making your coffee water at home that's our estimate the reason is your scale okay because uh, we are talking about making coffee water we are talking about go hundredth right like 0 0.05 gram 0 0.04 gram okay even though my scale set for 0 .0, uh, 0 0.00 but Akaya scale there is a plus minus okay I believe like 50 uh, so it's not 100% accurate okay and they even they say uh, there is a difference as well so so that's going to be the tricky one so unless if you have the really really accurate scale at home we are talking about guesstimate Okay, but still close enough folks okay still close enough homemade water is still better than your tap water let's put it that way okay your homemade water is still better than tap water or you're just a regular filter water at home I mean for my experience so so let's try one more time here coffee has been cooled down a little I'm gonna shout out to Jimmy Jimmy's in Tucson Jimmy yes uh, email me okay uh, I need you here, buddy. So Jimmy is in Tucson. I'm going to have Jimmy on hopefully soon. So we're going to do some blind taste. Okay, here we go. So this is the third way of water one more time. Okay, they bring out the sweetness. Give you that acidic as well. Here we go. So this is the, my homemade. Okay, they're not bad. It's definitely, you know, better than my tap water for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So let's throw away water. Sweeter, more balanced. That's what we're talking about. So if you don't want to mess with the water kind of like ratio or chemistry, man, I mean like third wave water, even like perfect water out there, but homemade water, I mean, if you, if you, if you want to save some money, in the beginning, you have to spend some money in the beginning. You have to get a water picture from a zero water, get the filter, set you back about 30 bucks to start. And then you have to spend another like, you know, 30 bucks for the, all the different uh, uh, mineral, okay. Uh, we are looking at, you know, Epsom salt, magnesium, you know, uh, bicarbonate, what else? And the calcium, you need that as well. You need to buy some copper squeeze bottles too. It's about 30 bucks to start. So you're looking at a total of 60, around 60 bucks to start entire water, you know, water system. And after that, you should be fine, okay? Only thing you need just to ask, you know, just uh, and your time, that's it, and your time. And, but with, you know, a package like this, you still need to get distilled water or some kind of zero water system because you do not want to put tap water on your third wave water. So each package is about 17 bucks for 12 pack. Uh, so 12 gallons of water. If you are using a lot of filter coffee at home, maybe using your homemade water should be a better option for you. But if you are by yourself at home, if you do a couple times a week, I mean, package should be, you know, I mean, this can be more convenient. Let's put that more convenient, save you a lot of time, save you a lot of headache. But if you're a coffee hobbyist like us, make your own water, guys. Okay, make your own your own water there. So, again, hopefully I'm gonna have a Jimmy on. I uh, should be fine, okay. So obviously Jimmy likes drink coffee. And then hopefully Jimmy can tell us what's the difference between these two cups. Again, personally, I like the uh, cup from the third wave water right now. Okay. So this is my home uh, made water. Here's a, th okay, here's another thing though. With the homemade water, you can play with ratio. You can put whatever you want, okay? You can put, you can put more calcium in it, less magnesium, or less buffer. You can play just where you like. With the third wave water, you're stuck with one recipe, that's it. All right? This is it. You are stuck with one recipe. So, I know that, that's the reason some people like to cut that in half. I know someone mentioned about using only half of uh, water there. So you get you about maybe 70 ppm. I mean, that's okay too. That's still better than your tap water. All right. So let's see. Uh, Jonathan Gagne has, yep. Jonathan Gagne has a great uh, post on the water recipe. Uh, espresso profile. Yes, it, it is a uh, machine friendly. Classic profile, no, not at all, okay? Not at all. You do not put classic profile on your machine. It's gonna be, uh, give you the build up calcium, okay? Build up the hot water there, you know? So you do not put express, uh, classic profile on your machine, okay? Uh, comes to perfect water. I think perfect water is made for the machine. So you're not gonna see the calcium in those water, so. But with the homemade water, again, you can make whatever you want. Okay, so that's the great thing about it. But as long as you have time, yeah, as long as you have time, if you have time, it'd be great. Again, uh, let's see here. Hopefully, Jimmy is gonna join us coming week. Uh, we got some fun comparison coming up though, because we got uh, we we have some new grinder. I want Jimmy to try here. And I got some new coffee coming in. Yep. Anyway, I think, are we good? Uh, we got some few people on our live chat. Make sure a thumbs up, guys, and thumbs up on the video. And I don't know if some of you saw my uh, coffee tour trip yesterday. It's all depends on the way you go. It comes to getting a good coffee, 
is who's behind the coffee bar. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was visiting a coffee shop in uh, Chandler, Arizona, uh, Pusheto, and the guys work there, you know, they love coffee, you know. I mean, they understand how to make coffee. So it's all depends on where you go, all right, and they care. So you, you need a uh, coffee shop that really care about their, you know, their coffee. If not, you're going to get a very mediocre coffee, guys. Especially filter coffee. If you're spending, you know, six, seven dollars on cup, you want someone knows what they're doing behind the coffee bar. So uh, anyway, I hope this video helps. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a third way water, uh, well, definitely worth trying, guys. Okay, definitely worth trying uh, making coffee with a third way water. Just try once. Okay. And then, but if you do a lot of filter coffee at home, I'm talking about a lot of filter coffee. And if you care about the, if you don't notice the difference between regular water versus, you know, uh, your, your kind of like specialized or designed water, yeah, you are going to tell the difference. Okay. It's kind of, you are going to tell the difference there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, coming week, uh, let's do some more comparison. Okay. All right. Let's do some more comparison because uh, let's play with uh, 83 millimeter back there, the DF83 uh, HU burst. And then let's compare that to uh, Calf Attack MC5. Uh, we got some fun. Okay. We got some fun uh, comparison coming up. Anyway, I think we are this. This is good. Okay. I think this is a great video this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, and I'm going to see you guys next time.